have a seat and relax, enjoy yourselves. Back at you, everybody, all that. Send it all back to you. And, uh, and then I also add, what's up? Because, you know, I like to stay current. I'm down with the kids. I'm hip to their jive. That's why I, only, I use the latest expressions up in the hizzy. And word to your mother, hashtag YOLO. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to stay uh, current and young, and then now and then I say something that reveals my age. The other day, um, Charlie, our cat, uh, she's precious, and she was, uh, she was doing something really, really cute. So I, I, Portia had, I said, get your phone and videotape her. Like there's videotape inside the phone <laughs> that you can watch on the VCR later on. <laughs> Has that happened to you where you catch yourself sounding like a grandma? So it's a matter of time before you're just standing on your lawn, back in my day, <laughs> while you're handing out butterscotch candy to the kids. <laughs> we all do that. Somehow these expressions, they just stay with us. They last. The other day I heard someone say, that's the best thing since sliced bread. <laughs> really? Is it since sliced bread? Like, we've had sliced bread about 100 years. Nothing better has happened in that time. How about saying, that's the best thing since pre-made margaritas, or something like that. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah. People still say that's the straw that broke the camel's back, which, you know, how about something a little more relevant, like that's an Oreo cookie that broke my waistband or something like that? <laughs> there was someone in the office the other day that said, I wish I had a nickel for every time I lost my keys. Really, a nickel? I mean, what would that add up to? Like. 85 cents? I don't know how many times you've lost your keys, but I realized I was paying this person way too much. They're living in the 1920s. A nickel. I hear people say, full steam ahead. I don't get that. Anyone here get here a steam engine today? Have a steam engine in your car? And there's that expression, mad as a hatter. How many hatters do you know? Any? We should say cray cray is a contestant on The Bachelor, is what we should say. There's some cray cray ones on there. There are a lot of old expressions that involved horses. Get off your high horse. Don't put the cart before the horse. The other day, I told Portia, hold your horses, um, which actually made sense, because Portia has a lot of horses. And they were jumping on her couch, and I draw the line. <laughs> the couch is no. No horses on the couch. I'm happy to say that some things still stay relevant, no matter how old, like, like blue jeans and Betty White. And now for the best thing since the bedazzler, it's time to dance. <laughs>